Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Getting the tropical rain today. Gray and wet. Not going to be a fantastic day for solar. But that's okay, all systems are pretty well charged from yesterday. Everything's doing great. Catching a lot of good rainwater today. Filling up the catchment tank. So all in all, still just a great day. Water. We call it liquid sunshine. Well, today I wanted to come back and look at the Chins batteries. These are the 12.8 volt, 300 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate, 15 months of continuous use. <clears throat> Got two of these things tied together in parallel to form one 600 amp hour battery bank, which is used for the main house. It has been running for 15 months, 24 seven, and have had zero problems with it. So I just wanted to, to go over the system and, and the batteries itself and let you guys know that 15 months on, have had zero problems with it. And as I showed you, today's a rainy day. They're sitting at 69% full and charging. And based on what's coming in on the panels, it's probably going to get up into the 70 some percentile of charge today, which is absolutely fine. This is running the entire house. Got the reliable 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This thing has been on 24 seven. 15 months now. No problems with that at all. I love that inverter. It works absolutely fantastic. Got it hardwired, which I like that that option is available. It was easy to run the lines throughout the house to the various outlets. The only complaint that I have about that reliable is the fan is a little loud. But back here in the utility room, it doesn't affect anything. But for those of you that were putting this into a, a van or a, more in your living space, it does have a little bit of noise associated with it, with the fan. And interestingly enough, that fan kicks on uh, in the heat of the day when it gets real hot back here. And then the load, like the refrigerator, kicks on and draws a, you know only 70 watts, 60 watts, depending on where it is in its cycle. The fan does kick on intermittently. Uh, it's not a big deal. The, the inverter itself has been extremely reliable. Not a single problem with it. And in 15 months, not much has changed back here. I've got uh, two of the EP ever 40 amp MPPT charge controllers with the MT50, uh, which is much easier to program those controllers with. And as you can see today, shows the battery at about 13.3 volts. There's almost nothing coming off of those solar panels. It's very dark out there right now. I'm even having to run a little light back here on the camera just to, to uh, be able to give you guys a good look at all, all this. A lot of you that have been watching this channel for a while will recognize all of these components that I've got tied in here. A couple of bus bars, fuses, and then right here. <clears throat> I was so happy to tie this uh, Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger into the system, 12 volt, 30 amps. I can't even remember the last time that I had to fire that thing up off the generator to boost these batteries up. It's been months. 
uh, since I boosted the solar panel array out there charging the system uh, over time now have a thousand watts coming in to this 600 amp hour bank there's my shut off switch I've had zero problems with this system I just this is my first battery from when I switched from lead acid over to the lithium iron phosphate profile started with one got another one real quick tied them together to make a 600 amp hour bank that has been adequate for our purposes out here running the entire house the main draw on it is a 20 cubic foot refrigerator which runs 24 7 of course that eats up most of the power in a day but it's not hardly touching these batteries at all when I woke up this morning, uh, the state of charge was, oh, 65% maybe. And that was from a charge of yesterday, taking it up to about 80%. So, boy, you can't ask for more than that. 80% uh, in your charge day, taking it down to the mid-60s overnight and even on a dark rainy day like today absolutely fine and as a lot of you know these things they can be discharged all the way in 15 months of running this battery bank I have never discharged it all the way never even close I think the lowest I've ever seen based on the amount of power I'm putting back into here I maybe have seen 30 some percent as the lowest and then it charges right back up on a nice sunny day so 24 hours a day for 15 months not so much as one hiccup on the chins someone was asking me not long ago hey what about the chins because I've been doing a lot of reviews on a lot of other batteries and I just wanted to come back and let you guys know that I have had zero problems with these as well as every component that I've showed you tied into this not a single problem and and I'm committed to letting you know that if anything I ever review and talk about has a problem I'm gonna come back here and tell you about it right away because I know a lot of you are doing the same thing you're switching over from lead acid uh, AGMs whatever you're getting off the heavy and impractical uses of batteries anymore. I mean, who wants lead acid anymore? I don't. Lithium iron phosphate all the way until they come out with something even better. These things are great. 15 months, not a single hiccup. I can't say that about any other system that I've ever worked with, especially when I was running the, the uh, lead acid. You know, I always had to watch for when I was getting down to that 50th percentile and start tapering off my usage. To be honest with you, I, I haven't even been back in here for a while. I can see I really need to come back here and kind of dust things off. The dust is accumulating. I'm not keeping them as clean and shiny as I would like. But uh, this has been a plug and play system. I, once I drop these in as lead acid replacements, and got my solar panel array up to what it needed to be no problems whatsoever haven't been without power one day not even close so yeah the chins <laughs> if you any of you that are sitting on the fence about ever pulling the trigger on on this particular battery i'd encourage you to do it and I can tell you, for my own experience, I have had zero problems. I couldn't be happier. I expect to be making these reviews many, many years into the future and keep telling you basically the same thing. All systems are go. And even as dark as it is out there, I got one string producing a whopping 8.5 amps into the system. 
And that's the 1000 watts of solar going into those Chins batteries. And if you watched how I first started, I first started with oh four or 500 watts and then I kept adding panels to get it up there. I need a little bit extra panel coverage out here because of these darker rainy days. So on a day like today, they're charging up pretty good right now. Like I said, still gonna get up at 75% full, which is just absolutely fine. And on the other string, <laughs> 6.8 amps. So uh, the batteries are charging. It's not gonna be a great day, but that's okay. I'm built for the days that are not so great to carry me through. And like I said, it's been, I don't even know how many months since I've thrown a generator on the system. So that's the main house system. I'm gonna get back to building some smaller systems. I got some other batteries. I'm gonna be doing some reviews on for you guys. But I just wanted to come back and talk about my first love. <laughs> and that was the chins. Awesome batteries. I can't speak highly enough about them. And every other battery as well that I'm using out here. I've not yet had a problem with it. You'll be the first to know if I ever do. All right, everybody. We'll keep letting you know how all of these systems do over time. Hope to be a very old man and coming back and telling you they're still just doing great. Have a great day, everybody. Aloha.